It happened to me a few months ago. I was playing with my son in his room. I got a call from my mom. I'd sent her a few recent photos, so I figured she was calling to tell me, naturally, how perfect he is. I was wrong. What's with his head? she asked. It looks so flat. She said she read on the internet that flathead can lead to serious complications for babies. I let it go. But later that day, worry set in. I couldn't stop looking at the photos of a seemingly flat head. Night? Day? I became obsessed. It became all I could focus on. I asked my nanny. I figured she'd tell me I was overreacting. Yeah, flathead's a thing. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I panicked. I turned to the internet. I googled simply, baby flathead. I was not encouraged. I madly dialed my pediatrician. No answer. I emailed him. Out of office! Finally he got back to me. He was pretty sure everything was okay, but asked me to bring my son in just in case. Days later, I had answers. My son likes sleeping on one side. He'd be just fine. It seems fear of the unknown is a common enemy to a lot of parents. Naturally now, there's an app for that. First Opinion is a virtual doc app launched in 2013. CEO McKay Thomas tells me the app lets you text doctors for free. Response times are usually five minutes or less. There's a really common scenario that I think plays out in most households where you kind of have a headache, you go online, and you're on WebMD, and your headache turns into a brain tumor. And, uh, and all of a sudden you're wondering if you need to be hauled off to the hospital. That type of fear that strikes you in that moment when you read those words brain tumor, and you're like, no, it can't be. But it might be, right? That, that whole it might be thing is really scary. And it's scary enough to drive most of us to go to the, to the hospital, to the ER, just even to the doctor, more often than we need to. Here's how it works. You download the app. You register. You're immediately paired with a doctor who is to be your point of care. Your doctor reaches out via text. Once you're connected, you can ask anything and follow up any time you want. The app's doctors are all stay-at-home moms themselves. For now, the app only works on an iPhone with iOS 8. I had a question about teething answered in less than five minutes. Great, considering I was holding my son while texting. First Opinion believes texting is the new way of healthcare for moms. Turns out we're all wondering if it's serious. It's usually not, but sometimes it is, and the risk there is just too much to avoid the doctor, but now there's a new way that you can find out if it's serious by texting a doctor first. Thomas says they've seen 35,000 unique users since launch. Some doctors I spoke with voiced concerns about the app. Angie Jellin, an OBGYN who specializes in maternal fetal medicine and genetics previously at UCSF Medical Center and now at Washington Star Hospital in Washington, D.C., said she worries the app's doctors could fall out of step with changing medical practices without hands-on experience. Still, as a mom herself, she admits the app sounds like something people will use. She says it's easier to text a doctor rather than call triage or talk to a service. Users say they like the fast response time and the fact that they can ask what they call dumb questions, which they don't want to bother their friends, family, and regular doctors with. San Francisco moms Casey Campbell and Felicia Rollins are fans of the app. New moms need a lot of emotional support, and sometimes I don't feel comfortable talking about what's going on in my sleep-deprived, hormonal brain, Rollins said. I like the fact that doctors' response time is so quick, and you can see they're writing back to you, Campbell, a new mom, told me. Thomas says the app is still in beta mode. The company reaches out to users for feedback and is still honing their business model. For now, the app is free, but users can pay for premium services, such as faster response times and photo share. I'm not so sure the app would have been helpful for my son's potential flathead, given it's probably something a doctor would prefer to see in person. Still, having a personal doctor at my fingertips should do wonders for my blood pressure. This is Laura Foreman for the Peninsula Press a project in the Stanford Graduate Program of Journalism.